please check out my revised website at creationsciencefiction.com. It's a great resource now for answering creationist claims. There's also documentaries, lectures, my blog, and more. Like my Facebook page, too. And if you want to support what I'm doing, you can become a contributor at patreon.com. Ever since its discovery in 2004, Tiktaalik has been a thorn in the side of creationists who claim that there's no transitional species found in the fossil record. When the discovery of tetrapod footprints in Poland that were possibly 18 million years older than Tiktaalik was announced in 2010, creationist organizations and ID websites, like this phony evolution news site of the Discovery Institute, we're quick to say this would dim dismiss Tiktaalik as a transitional species. But is this true? Several years ago, the paleontological world heralded the discovery of a fossil called Tiktaalik rosei. Some scientists claimed it as a perfect missing link between fish and amphibians, and so it started appearing in school and university textbooks. However, the discovery of a series of footprints in Poland made by a four-legged animal has changed everything. That's because these footprints were dated according to the same evolutionary ideas at 18 million years older than Tiktaalik. Therefore, from an evolutionary perspective, if four-legged animals existed before Tiktaalik, then Tiktaalik cannot be the transition between fish and four-legged animals that it was claimed to be. Indeed, these footprints are so significant that they have prompted some scientists to say, we thought we'd pin down the origin of limbed tetrapods. We have to rethink the whole thing. Isn't it amazing how just a little bit of new evidence can completely undermine a neat evolutionary story? That little gem was put out by Creation Ministries International, or CMI. What they won't tell you, though, is that these tracks they're talking about were dated using index fossils. They don't believe in using index fossils to date anything. Now, I'm not saying that the dating of the tracks is inaccurate, only that creationists are relying on something that they don't actually accept. The Polish tracks aren't actually the only tracks older than Tiktaalik that have been found. 385 million year old tracks have also been found in Ireland. The biggest problem with the creationist argument is no one is claiming that it was the only tetrapod alive at the time or that it was the first to walk on land, only that it shows clear transitional features and those features were predicted by the theory of evolution. Here's what Dr. Neil Shubin, who discovered Tiktaalik, said about it. What evolution enables us to do is make specific predictions about what we should find in the fossil record. The prediction in this case is clear cut. That is, if we go to rocks of the right age and rocks of the right type, we should find transitions between two great forms of life, between fish and amphibian. What we see when we look at the fossil record at rocks of just the right age is a creature like Tiktaalik. In other words, he used the geologic column where fossils had already been discovered, combined with Darwin's theory of evolution to predict where he would find Tiktaalik, then he went out and found it. Now what exactly is it about Tiktaalik that makes creationists so upset? It's because it clearly shows transitional features between fish and amphibians. From the University of Chicago website, Tiktaalik shares anatomical features with both primitive fish and the first tetrapods. At first glance, it has features we readily associate with fish, fins, scales, and gills. Tiktaalik's head and body are flat with eyes on the top of its skull, much more like a crocodile than most fish. Its shoulders are not connected to its skull, giving it a functional neck, a feature which fish lack. And it has ribs like some of the earliest tetrapods, which were used to support the body and aid in living and breathing on land. These features in Tiktaalik show that many of the body features we associate with the earliest tetrapods actually evolved in fish first. Now these Polish tetrapod tracks are an important discovery, but we don't know what the animal looked like and what transitional features it may have had. So Tiktaalik remains a shining example of a transitional species found in the fossil record predicted by the theory of evolution. If you live in the United States, Neil Shubin's three-part series, Your Inner Fish, is available to watch free. And I'll post a link to that on my documentaries page at creationsciencefiction.com. I'm going to leave you with some artist impressions of Tiktaalik, images from the expedition, and a song by the Endorphins, which I'll link to in the video description. <laughs>